game pays on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'ma swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'ma ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'ma fly real high. You ain't see me stack. I'ma start how you fall till you get right back. Woo! It feels so good to be back. I know I've been away for a cool little minute, took a little brief hiatus, but I am back and I know I'm behind on a lot of stuff, but it really doesn't matter because I haven't reacted to it yet. And as you can tell from the title, this is One Piece live action official teaser trailer. Now, when it comes to live action anime, we have been let down countless times in the past. So this is like, 60 40 70 30 maybe 80 20 you know what i'm saying so it's not really high on that bar so let's dive into this trailer and then we'll talk about it ever since i was a kid the sea's been calling has it has it so, okay i'm setting out to follow my dreams okay you know what i'm gonna be king of the pirates all I need is a loyal crew. And I think together we'd make a pretty good team. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm not I'm not We're a heading up to the Grand Line. A treacherous stretch of ocean with bigger islands and bigger pirates. Hey, Alvita <laughs> Buggy, okay! Careful with that! I don't work for you. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, Not a, a crew. crew. Who's we up? sailed together for very long. Sanji, okay. But, and I know we've got each other's backs. I feel like they gotta work on the uh, the rubber. All great fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> uh. Okay, man. First of all, yeah, I don't want to go through all that uh, extra. Okay, um, 100%. Nobody asked for this. Let's, let's just be clear. And... We've we've been let down with uh different iterations of One Piece as uh you know in the past you know and the only thing that comes to mind you know when I'm speaking on that is Four Kids versions of One Piece you know now there was one thing that Four Kids done right and that's the the rap you know the One Piece rap for the opening that's the only thing Four Kids got right it, other than that you know they just botched the whole entire thing but uh, I want. I want to kind of, we don't need it. Like, let's be 100%. Like, we, like if you're a One Piece fan, you know that the manga and the anime just, it just hits on a different freaking level. But I want to say I was, I was entranced in what was going on in the, in this, um in this trailer, a smidget. You know, I'm not going to give him a whole credit because I will save that for when the actual show drops. But from the looking of it, it looks like we see Luffy at the go that's that's going Mary. And we see him with Zoro. He's at the uh but bar how do you pronounce it? Crap. It's been a minute since I watched One Piece from the beginning. Uh Biarate or Barate, however you want to pronounce it. Um we see he's there. Uh where else? Uh is that uh uh, 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 Morgan space. Okay, so, so the city's the city, every, the landscape and everything looks pretty legit. Um, we see Zoro, we get Nami, we're getting Usopp, we get Sanji. So if I had to guess, I'd say we're gonna skip and bypass a lot of stuff, and we're just gonna jump straight into like the heart of everything, so that I'd probably try to ca catch everybody's attention and really have them um, entranced in the story because uh, One Piece is a story that you know. It's, it's, it's very, very long, but everything pays off. That's why Oda is one of the greatest, one of the goats, one of the fantasticals, you know what I'm saying? Because everything Oda does pays off eventually, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when it comes to the story, they'll give the story enough credit to where 
they can give everyone enough room to be entranced in the series and captivate everybody so people aren't wondering, well, why is it taking so long to meet this person and da-da-da-da-da. So we see Nami and Zoro are there together right off rip with, with Luffy. So we see Luffy like right there with Zoro. That, that's straight out the manga and the anime. Uh, we see Nami, we see Avita ship, we see Puggy, we see the flashback with uh, Shanks and one of the Sea Kings. Like, dude, so, like, they're giving you a lot of the stuff that you actively came across while reading the manga and watching the anime, and I'm not mad at that, man. Uh, I will say this. Luffy's voice actor, I mean, uh, well, Luffy, Luffy's uh, live action actor, I'm not really feeling his voice, man. Like, it's giving me that aesthetic of Luffy, but at the same time, not. I, I guess because we're so used to the uh, the original voice actor for Luffy, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Everything else, I can kind of sit to the side and, and save judgment for until we actually watch the uh, live action. But Luffy's voice acting, I mean, I want to say voice acting so bad, Luffy's live acting character's voice isn't really working for me that looked like uh garps uh ship right here man like dude so like there's a lot of stuff that they're they're paying off usopp now usopp doesn't have the long nose you know so well you know it, that's a takeaway but everything else like i said i reserve judgment for the only thing that i'm really nitpicking about right now is luffy's uh actor's voice it's it's got that whole cartoonish feel and we know how luffy plays Everything is for kicks and jokes, and I get that. That's that's Luffy's shtick, and we love him for it. But his voice really ain't really clicking for me. Now, the comedy seems to be funny and everything right off rip, and you can see right here in that moment, like, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, Right here, crap, right here in that moment, you see him doing the uh, gumba gumba no, and you can't quite see it but you see him connecting everything else and then later in the trailer we see him kind of stretch out look kobe you know what i'm saying we see it kind of stretch out and then kind of plays in and it, it it like he's punching Alvita, but it doesn't look yeah, maybe i'll give him a little time hopefully the finished product would be enough for it to uh look better but right here in that uh moment it doesn't look all that great you see like it looks kind of cartoonish and we know that Luffy was played for jokes by Oda and everything in the very beginning, and now he's such a serious character in the series, even though he still has the gumma gumma no and leads to other stuff as well. But two nitpicks if I'm just watching the trailer straight up, man, is, is Luffy's character's voice. I'm really not digging his voice. Hopefully, it'll get a little bit better. And then the uh, CGI for the gumma gumma no and uh everything else i'm i'm okay with it so far like i said i reserve judgment on everything else until the actual uh show drops but right off rip man i'm i'm not saying it's gonna be a home run but i enjoyed the trailer i put it like that i it, it, it's they bring in so many aspects straight out the manga and the anime man and i mean you can't complain about that man you know if they're going to follow the source material and bring in all this other stuff, you have to give them credit for that. The set design and everything looks pretty good. Like I said, the CGI for Luffy's punches and his and his uh, actor's voice is really throwing me for a loop. But that could be something, especially the CGI they fix in post before the show actually drops. And his voice, I'm assuming that's probably set in stone. It's just something we'll have to grow to love uh, as the show goes on. But it seems like uh, it's going to take place right around um, right around maybe Nami being with Buggy and her being around the part with Alvita, all of that stuff, and um, Luffy going to save Zoro and running into Kobe and then them meeting Sanji and Usopp. And then that's where I'd say it probably ends with them going directly into uh, the Grand Line. I mean, not the Grand Line. Yeah, the Grand Line. Um, that's where the, the series are in, at least for the first part anyway. Because I feel like there's enough right there to take in to get them to the Grand Line, and then they can just kind of end it. I wonder who they're going to fight, though. We know we see Buggy, we see Alvita, and then we're at the bar, uh, Bariate, or Barate, however you want to say it. So... Maybe Don Creek. We might we might see Don Creek. I don't know. Oh, let me let me move this back. 
But um, yeah, we might see Dawn Creek. I'm not totally sure how that's going to play out. But if we're at the uh, Bayarete or Barate, however you want to say it. So Alvita Buggy and possibly Dawn Creek. And maybe Kuro. Uh, I don't know, man, because there's so many moving pieces. But anyway, I enjoyed it, man. I, I said there was two nitpicks for me. But this is really incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash any more. Comment down below, and I'd be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe. Peace out. Hey, yeah. I can't